Namaste. I hope all of you are doing good. This is C.A. Dhananjay Bhave, your faculty for financial management and cost accounting. Here are some of the important things that you have to keep in mind one and a half days before your examination. Number one, the most common question that I'm getting is from where should we study theory? If you have attended my class at Yashas Academy or if you have taken recorded classes of Yashas Academy, you can refer to Yashas Academy's theory material. The theory content in the regular material is more than enough, which includes part A and part B theory. And also go to ICA study material at the end of every chapter. They have given you summary of all theory key points in a tabular form at the end of the chapter, just before the exercise section. Please refer to that. That will be more than enough for theory. Second, what should be the order of priority in which you should revise the topic? Always and always start with introduction and cost sheet. Without doing cost sheet, you will not be able to revise other topics. Once cost sheet is done, start with material and labor, then do overhead and activity based costing. Activity based costing specifically being a very small topic is very important for examination. Do not take a chance with that topic at any cost. After that, directly go to marginal budget and standard because our subject name is cost and management accounting and these three topics come under the category of management accounting. So. Make sure that you give good importance to management accounting topics also. I repeat budget, standard and marginal. Once you are done, the balanced topics you can study in any particular order. But please don't ignore those small topics, especially batch costing, job costing and joint and byproducts. You may not have the question from that topic every time, but you never know if it comes and if it's a very easy question, I don't want you to lose marks. Last thing. With respect to formulas, I've already shared the copy of last minute revision formula book with all of you. Please refer to that. You carried that to exam hall also. Study that formula book one hour before the examination as well. Yeah? With respect to presentation in examination hall, make sure that you manage time really well. You have to keep in mind approximately a ratio of one is to two. That is for one mark, you can use maximum of two minutes. So if there is a question of 10 marks, you should not spend more than 20 minutes. In fact, you shouldn't even take 20 minutes on an upper side. I'm counting it as 20 minutes. So after one hour, make sure that you have completed at least 30 to 35 marks of paper. After two hours, check whether you are done with at least 55 to 60 marks. Then only you'll be able to comfortably complete the whole answer sheet. Do not panic. If you get doubt, keep that space and then move on to the next question. At the end, if you have time, and come back make sure that all the working notes are presented properly even if your final answer is not correct if your working notes are neat and clean and understandable validator will appreciate your approach to solve the question and you will be given appropriate marks if the question is for eight marks and if you have done 70 80 percent of working notes correctly you'll still get 70 80 percent of the marks allotted to that particular question so do not skip any working notes do not skip writing the formula. Sometimes formula you may write correctly, but you may work out the sum incorrectly. You'll still get the marks for writing the correct formula. So don't take chance with any of this. You're not doing practice. You're writing the examination. So make sure working notes are part of your answers. All right. Thank you so much. Wishing you all the very best. Bye bye.